the under 16s, uh, I've been head coach on the 16s now for about the last 12 years. Getting to the final, well, that was the kind of goal that we set as a team when we met uh, last summer term. And the boys talked about uh, where they wanted to get to, and then we looked at how we would get to that point. And we talked about having our North Star, uh, the idea that we had one true aim, and that's what our efforts were going to go towards. And to get to the final was, was very much part of that. So we have uh, on our sleeves, we have uh, the core values that we share with the first 15 of hard work and humility and have fun. And right from our summer term training through to our tour to Italy and then into, into the season, uh, that's very much been the three questions we've asked ourselves at the end of training sessions and the end of matches. Did we work hard? Uh, did we uh, have fun? And were we humble in our performance? And I feel that across the, you know, some like the semi-final, where they had to really dig deep to, to get get a win against a very strong uh, Mar team away, you know, the hard work came at the end. Uh, they were humble uh, in their performance. They understood where they were good and what they wanted to improve upon. And at the end, yeah, they had fun. If they want to be successful, and success is not about winning. It, it, success is about becoming better at, you know, at who you are. Uh, so it's not just all about performance in the field, it's you know, how are you around the school, how are you with each other. Uh, and I think that's been a really key bit for these boys, that they've, they've developed, yes, as rugby players, but I think they've also developed as young men. And I think that's a really important part of what we do. Um, and it's something that, you know, whether it's the values or just, just discussions with them, just making sure that they, they, they keep, keep that in focus. Um, but yes, They've enjoyed the winning, but they've also seen how they can improve themselves. I think that's a very important part. Um, I was trying not to focus on the occasion and more just on the match. I had like a mantra in my head, uh, just another game. Such a, such a great feeling to be leading this squad, that the squad of boys that have worked so hard this entire season. And uh, it's just being with your friends and playing on the pitch, it's a, it's a really great feeling. It was quite a surreal experience. Um, I'd say like all my emotions and like thoughts were just swirling right beforehand. I think going through my head when I stepped onto my field was some experience. I knew there was a lot of pressure on me and the boys to go out and put a performance. 
yeah, it was a crazy experience. All the players who have played on the pitch, so the likes of Henry Pollard, number 10 for South Africa, and Dan Carter and all those guys, it, it was big, big memories of watching them play. It was like, it was really good to see all the fans in the stadium and um, like getting all the, hearing all the chants on the pitch, it was, all, it was awesome. As I was running out, that's just going over my head, just another game. I tried not to look up at the stand um, and just at the pitch, it's just another rugby pitch, and just focus on the job of the day, which I think helped me not get overwhelmed. Oof, it's uh, emotional, to, uh, to be honest. A, a wee bit disappointed for, for the boys themselves, uh, the amount of effort they put in, the kind of direction of travel they'd, they'd come on. Um, just to come up short, um, yeah, I, fe I felt quite a range of things, um, but, but also a huge amount of pride, pride in what they'd done, uh, you know, proud of the journey they'd come on and the, the efforts and hard work they put into to, to trying to make that up. A reality uh, to fall slightly short is it is it's, it's part of life's journey and it's uh, going to be a reflection of them as a group of young men as to what they do next. Uh, they still have another two years to prepare um, for you know, what would hopefully be another run uh, as they hit the under 18s, and uh, you know, I look forward to seeing how they progress. With that I was heartbroken to be honest, uh, really emotional for me, um, and you've got to give it to them because I know how much work we've put in, so they must have put in an awful lot of work as well. Um, so big congratulations to Stu Mel because they're a fantastic team. After we got back to the changing rooms, I just got the sense of being proud. I was proud of the boys and how we played and how far we've come this season from, from the start of the season to now. We've, we've grown so much together and that's really exciting. Look where we've come from last season, winning one game to winning every game bar two against who we lost to in the final. Obviously a lot to look forward to, a lot of potential on our team, a lot of talent and a lot of hard work. Um, so I think if we keep going the way we're going, we've got, you know, the world's our oyster. A big thank you to everyone who's come along to every game. Thank you to Mr. Todd and Mr. McLeod for being there all the way. And then thanks to the boys for a great season. Just say a well done to all the players and coaches as well, especially Mr. Todd and Mr. McLeod. 
handle as well, of course. And just thank you to all the like supporters that came down to watch. Massive thanks to everyone because everyone has believed in us since the start of this year. Um, I've had coaches saying, you know, this is a special team. If we've come this far since last year, I'm just really excited to see what we can do next year and in the first. Well, as I said to them before we, we went to kick off, uh, it has been a privilege uh, to work with these, uh, these boys. I'm, I'm sad to see them go in some respects. Um, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd love to carry on working with them, but I think uh, having a new voice and a new bit of direction with uh, the, the coaches and the senior senior part of rugby is really important for them as well. So I'm going to really look forward to watching how they progress, and I wish them all the, you know, the very best uh, of success in the, in the future.